Hello everyone. I thought I'd show you a base that uses a couple more advanced features just to give you an idea of how complicated things can get if you would like them to be. So you might be able to tell that these studies are quite a bit larger than whatever you've been creating. And that's not simply because I've got a better facility for creating studies. It's actually because I'm using a reprocessing system. So these here are testing labs. I mean, uh, sorry, what am I thinking? Those are material labs, and they create tasks that get passed to this testing lab. Now these testing labs are uh, uh, pretty high-end, and they require both an electricity source and a fuel source, which makes them a little bit difficult to maintain. But they do good work, uh, and they can manage very, very large um, experiments, which is why I'm using them. So you can see that I've got both power and fuel hooked up here. So the testing lab outputs to this particular um, uh, cubicle. And the cubicle says, well, if it's smaller than a size of 10, pass it to the conference table. If it's larger than a size of 10, pass it over here to this cubicle. Well, this cubicle is the standard uh, collotate, annotate, write study, collotate, annotate, write study situation that you've hopefully gotten used to by now if you've played the game. But over here, this conference table, what this does is it turns uh, observations back into tasks. So if you watch this observation here, all right, so this observation is about to get passed. And there you see it now, it's a task. And that allows uh, for much larger tasks to be created out of observations. And then I pass them over here to a second lab that does all the high power processing. I didn't want to mix the two because then it have uh, experiments that have some low quality and some high quality uh, tasks mixed together and I wanted to have just high quality tasks. But then it passes itself right back over to this cubicle. So it doesn't have a different cubicle, it just keeps siphoning through the same cubicles and whenever the cubicle happens to get whatever is higher than quality 10, it passes it one place and if it's lower than quality 10 it passes it the other place. So you can create these siphons where one particular cubicle uh, is handling as much uh, different outputs as you'd like. And of course that really becomes clear when you start to use these uh, more advanced cubicles and desks that have computers in them because these guys can process really really fast uh, so it makes more sense to use fewer of them, but have them be smarter. Anyhow, I thought I would just show you the kind of uh, uh, layouts that you can build. Uh, it is a little bit confusingly laid out. I probably should have been more linear about it. But it all works, and it, uh, it, I hope it was clear what I'm doing. Uh, I'm taking bad outputs. I'm taking small observations. I'm turning them back into tasks and then I'm sending those tasks to become larger observations. And in that way, I've created these massive studies. And uh, as soon as I have eight of them, which I believe will happen very soon here, these things process so fast that you can't even see them process at 100 times speed. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to process this into a, news, uh, into a paper. And let's go ahead and see how big this paper gets. I'm hoping to break my old records. Of course, this took something like two weeks to actually finish creating enough observations to make a paper out of. But if you wanted to, you could build a lot of parallel facilities. Oh, look at how big that is. <laughs> I've never seen something that large. I might have to have a special way to handle super large observations like that. It's so large that the mail desk is taking forever to print it uh, and send it out. This is at a hundred times speed right now and it's just crawling. Um, so that's a seriously massive breakthrough paper. Uh, in fact, it's taken more than a day to just process it out for mailing. I should probably create some computer versions of a mailing desk. <laughs> grind, 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 grind three days to pre to process it. I gotta send it to all the right places, right? So that was 777 page paper and it netted me something absurd like a, a couple thousand dollars, a couple hundred thousand dollars. Well, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this little look into how I do my testing and uh, try the game out if you'd like.